Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us for another interview in celebration of Student House's upcoming 70th anniversary in October. We are gathering marvelous memories and fascinating facts about Student House and reminiscing with former residents and Victoria League members. Today's guest is Wei Hao Tay. Hi, Wei Hao. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Let me tell you a little bit about him. Wei Hao is from Malaysia, a country near the equator unique for its wide variety of cultures and three main ethnicities, especially the foods. <laughs> he studied for eight years in the UK, obtaining his integrated master's degree in mathematics from Manchester and a PhD in mathematics at Imperial College London. Wei Hao is currently a postdoctoral researcher in Tokyo, Japan, focusing on applying mathematics, neuroscience, and artificial intelligence. During his PhD studies, he stayed at Student House for three years and was a student officer for over a year. Other than mathematics, Wei Hao enjoys hiking, playing piano, and video games. That's a great bio. Thank you so much, Wei Hao. So yes. um, how did you discover Student House in the first place? Yeah, it's actually a cool story. So I heard it from my friend, like my Malaysian friend. So he was in Imperial College London at that time. So uh, I did my PhD in, in London, but my first year, I did not, did not really stay in uh, the student house. And then during my first year, so my friend told me, oh, you have like this Commonwealth, like a uh, student house for the Commonwealth country students. And then actually he referred me to another, fr another friend of mine, actually also Malaysian, that currently, I mean, at that time, stay in the student house. Yeah. So, yeah. And, and, and then uh, he kind of, told me all the process and know how to like apply. And then, yeah, I applied through the website and then, yeah, I got it. And yeah, it's uh, actually, I think the, the best three years of my life. Oh, One that, of the best oh that's, life, yeah. that's lovely. So there, best, were like, there was a few connections that got you to Student House. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that's so interesting. And it sounds like you already just said you loved it, but um, do you have any one or two particular really good memories that stand out? Yeah, well... It's good for memory for me, but unfortunately at that time, so I think when I stay in a student house for like half a year and then pandemic hits. So actually I spent like two years of the pandemics in the in a student house. But actually it turns out that all the good memories is from that time because we are forced to stay home, obviously. And so we, we kind of spend a lot of time uh, with each other. So I think my best memories, I guess, if you want me to choose one, it's actually uh, at one time we get together and then watch the Euro Cup. Uh, so England actually went to the finals. So unfortunately, uh, England lost uh, with a <laughs> penalty. But but it's still a good time. Like we all get around in in a piano room and then we we look at a projector and then like <laughs> kind of shout <laughs> for the England team. And yeah, it's like a fantastic moment. But but there's a lot of like good memories as well because we have a lot of different. Uh, you know, potluck for different uh, days. For example, Diwali and uh, Chinese New Year and Halloween, even we you know, kind of dress up for the costume. <laughs> yeah, it's quite funny. But yeah, yeah, it's uh, a lot of memories. Oh, that sounds wonderful. So, th so there was something a little bit positive about the pandemic, at least in terms yeah, of... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's great to hear. You you mentioned you were a student officer. Um, what what kind of duties did you have when you were in the house doing being a student officer? Yeah, so we have two student officers and then obviously the house manager and the general manager. So four of us kind of divide a schedule so that in the non-working hours we will be kind of on duty. So what we do is like if you have any emergency, we need to attend it and maybe so if we can't figure it out and we will contact the general manager uh, at the end but yeah so i mean the main duty uh, to be honest is basically locked up sorry lock the doors of the, like from the main door uh, and then make sure that it, like all the different doors are locked and also one more important ones is like if uh, the alarms goes off then we will we need to know like where to to switch off and obviously to check like if the student is okay and if it's a false alarm or something but yeah it's a uh, it's not really difficult. It's just emergency do happens once in a while. But yeah, it's just basically responsibility. Yeah. I guess it was a good opportunity, though, to get to know even more of the students. You got to, because of that position. Yeah, exactly. Because like we need to introduce the new students into the house and to uh, around the house and in the direction. So and actually, yeah, we know the student the best because the new students come in and we need to introduce them to the house. So then like, we know each other from there instead of yeah. from 
somebody else. So, yeah. It, it was a nice position to be in, <laughs> definitely. Yes, yes. Enjoying it. Um, Student House is located in a great place, Bayswater and things. Did you have a favorite one or two places in Bayswater that you liked? So, yeah, like, uh, obviously the first one is the student house itself <laughs> but yeah so like uh if you want to point out one place maybe it's strange to you but uh it is actually one of the grocery store like asian grocery store i think it's called i forgot it's called i think it is called the uh simply oriental food and wine <laughs> shop yeah it's basically uh, because they sell a lot of like different foods from different area for example from malaysia so like we can buy some malaysian food like ingredients to cook uh, in a student house so yeah like especially because of pandemic like we can't really go out that much so like i bought a lot of like ingredients there and then cook it at home yeah where was that located it's uh along the road where there's two tube i, I think the road is called queensway uh -huh. yeah. oh, it's queensway. like 15, yeah, and yeah. you know 10 or 15 minutes walk from, yeah. the, from the house yeah not far oh, okay i don't think it's a silly memory i think it's it, it's what you remember and it, and it brought a little bit of home to you there as well so that's good yeah. final question what would you say to any commonwealth students who are coming to study in london about staying in student house would you recommend it yes of course so like uh, i think one of the obviously i think the obvious point is that it's very affordable because if you want to rent a house especially near base water it is quite expensive First thing is obviously the, the price is very affordable. And obviously, second one is that you have kind of like community. So if, if you are stuck, especially for the postgraduate students, because, you know, especially PhD, like we, we, we do, especially for me, because I did mathematics. So like, I don't really talk too much to a lot of people. If uh, you are doing like chemistry, maybe you have labs partner. But then for, for us, like, it's actually good that uh, if you are in a house that you get someone to talk to, like, as friends you know and it's very near to you because literally in the same house mm -hmm. so you, you have a sense of community and obviously uh, i know a lot of malaysians from the uh, student house as well so you you have your you know from your friends from the home countries which is quite nice so i really recommend yeah sounds, sounds like it sounds like it thank you so much we have for spending time with me today um thank right. you for the great memories and thank you everyone for watching and look forward to seeing you in another marvelous memory.